Welcome back to Smoke Hollow for another episode of Smoker's Guide to What's for Dinner. And th this evening we're gonna be doing a stuffed smoked meatloaf. All right, here are the ingredients for your smoked stuffed meatloaf. You're gonna need one pound of ground beef, a half a cup of old fashioned oats, one egg, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one medium diced white onion, one red pepper diced, a third cup ketchup, two tablespoons of Catalina dressing, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one cup of shredded Swiss cheese, one cup of shredded Gouda cheese, and a bottle of Adam's apple barbecue sauce. Let's get into the steps on how we're gonna make this smoked stuffed meatloaf. All right, you're gonna start off with an egg. Crack your egg, put that in the bottom of the, of the bowl. Throw in the minced garlic. You're gonna put in the Worcestershire sauce. Put in the ketchup. Add the Catalina. Add the oats. Throw in the diced onions and diced peppers. Put in the pepper and the Italian seasoning. Mix all that together. Get it nice and congealed. Now you're gonna add in one pound of your beef. I tend to use my hands to mix it all in and get it nice mixed into the, into the mixture. Get it all evenly put throughout. Get a nice consistency going there. Now once you do that, I lay out a, a, either a cookie sheet or aluminum foil. I'll put aluminum foil on the cookie sheet and I'll go ahead and scoop it out of the bowl. When you put it out of the bowl, you wanna shape it into a rectangle. Now here's a step that you can go ahead, you wanna be about a half inch thick. You can go ahead and put it back in the refrigerator for an hour or two the longer you leave in, the, le the more easy it's gonna be able to roll up and make a pinwheel presentation with your stuffed meatloaf. So once you pull it out of the refrigerator, go ahead and put in your minced, um, your shredded cheeses, your Swiss and your Gouda, fill the whole entire rectangle of the meatloaf, and then use the, the foil to kind of start the roll and roll it onto it almost like a pinwheel type shape. And then roll it right onto your cookie sheet or in this case, we're using a um, lid to a half steam pan. And once you got it transferred over to that, you pinch the ends and shape it up real nice. Now that we have our loaf transferred to the pan we're gonna be cooking it on, it's time to go outside and put the stuffed meatloaf on the grill. All right, we're out here at the grill. We've got the grill going for 180. Probably gonna smoke for right at one hour at 180 degrees. Then we're gonna bump it up. All right, we've been smoking the meatloaf now for one hour. We're gonna go ahead and turn it up to 250. We're gonna put a little Adam's apple glaze on it. Now we've got the temperature bumped up to 250 and we're gonna go until roughly until the meatloaf's done. I would say you probably got about an hour to hour 10. All right, we're back outside. Our meatloaf is done, ready to take off and uh, get a little bite to eat. All right, all, we're ready for our stuffed smoked meatloaf taste test. Now, one thing I've done is I did let the meatloaf rest a little bit. That allows that cheese to kind of bring back in a little bit, get firm up. 
and so hopefully not too runny. Mm. Fantastic. All right, we're done with today's cook. Uh, so if you liked what you see, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like on Facebook as well so you can see more of what's for dinner. So from our family to your family, meatloaf is what's for dinner. <laughs>